Hello, this is Pyromania Rules, and as requested by Rage Addiction, I'm going to do a rant on the Nirvana album Nevermind, right here. And first off, if you have never heard of this album, never heard of Nirvana, or... No, I have no idea what grunge is. You're going to be in for a surprise. Because this album here is probably one of the biggest albums or biggest bands to have ever done anything in music. They completely changed what type of music was popular and how music sounded like after it was made. This single album alone brought an entire genre of alternative rock into everybody's attention and made it popular. Or at least for a little while they didn't like being popular, which was grunge. And, as always, if you've never seen this album cover, some people might not like it, but as the main person of Nirvana, Kurt Cobain, once said, if you're offended by the baby's penis, then you're nothing but a closet pedophile. It, you kind of get it. But, if you have never heard the song Smells Like Teen Spirit, go listen to it. I'm not even going to talk about it, okay? You should, everybody on planet Earth should already know about this song. Because I, I'm not even, not even going to talk about it. It's not even my favorite song by them. My favorite, on, at least on this album, was In Blue, which is about... How they hate fans who just like their songs. They have no idea what the songs are about. They have no idea what the band's about. They just like the, a couple of songs and they say, Oh yeah, it's my favorite band of all time. They hate that crap. That's what this song's about. There's other few good songs. Come As You Are. Probably one of their other biggest songs ever. Yeah, Lithium, that was a Another one that people really know really well. Another really good one. Another, I mean, Breed was really good. Polly. I kind of, I really liked that one. How kind of dark and evil the, the song lyrics were. It's, it was really short. It was, it, it kind of made you think differently about stuff. Drain You, I really like that one. Let's see, like, On a Plane and Something in the Way and Stay Away. Those ones, I always thought they were pretty decent. But all together, this song really, it's kind of like a, a grunge gateway album. It's not really the most grunge sounding album. It's just Nirvana more... This is like a more of a mainstream sounding album from them. And if you listen to some of their other stuff, albums and music and other grunge bands, you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about. Even they knew this was kind of mainstream for them. But it is still a good album. If you don't have this album, What's wrong with you? It's hard to find people who don't have this album. I, I don't see why people wouldn't buy it. It's one of those albums that I would put on a list that you must own. People are like, well, what the hell does that mean? This is an album that you should at least listen to before you die. It's that good. 
There's a few other albums I would put on that list, but this is definitely one of the ones I would put up in the top because it is that good. And I can't really think about much more about it other than buy it. Just, just buy it. And bye for now.